Hello again, and welcome to the second video in the Wild Parsnip Phenophase series for pesky plant trackers here at the University of Minnesota. Today, we will be discussing the flower phenophases of wild parsnip and how to tell when they are occurring. As shown on the timeline here, the first of this plant's flower phenophases is referred to as flowers or flower buds, and the second is known as open flowers. If you are watching the wild parsnip series in sequential order, you may notice that, unlike the leaf phenophases, the two flower phenophases have a large amount of overlap time-wise, which is important to remember while recording observations. Starting off with the first of the two flower phenophases, it's important to understand that the name of this phenophase is flowers or flower buds. You are not being asked to choose whether flowers or flower buds are present. Instead, you are being asked to simply write yes or no, and write yes as soon as something that is recognizable as a flower structure is present. Moving on, the phenophase is defined as when one or more fresh, open or unopened flowers or flower buds are visible on the plant. Make sure to include flower buds or inflorescences that are swelling or expanding, and do not include wilted or dried flowers. Looking at the image on the right, although flowers are yet to open up on this plant, it would still be considered to be a part of the flowers or flower buds phenophase, due to the fact that the flower bud is shown is clearly actively growing and expanding. The presence of any structure that will eventually turn into a flower means that the flowers or flower buds phenophase is occurring. After the first flower phenophase starts, the second one, known as open flowers, will soon follow. And once again, remember that these two phenophases overlap. The open flower phenophase is defined as when one or more open, fresh flowers are visible on the plant. Flowers are considered open when the reproductive parts, stamens for males or pistils in females, are visible between or within unfolded or open flower parts, like petals, floral tubes, or sepals. Of course, do not include wilted or dried flowers. Based on this definition, in the image on the right, we have a plant that is in both flower phenophases. An important part of this definition is that this phenophase only begins once reproductive parts, male stamens or female pistils, are visible between or within unfolded or open flower parts. Make sure to familiarize yourself with what these flower parts look like and how to tell if re the reproductive parts are visible. Now. Moving on to the important question of how to tell when these two flower phenophases have ended. Well, flowers that have passed these phenophases are considered to be spent. We can recognize this by withered and dried flower parts, or if petals are drying or dropped off. So in this image, we see that the flower petals are either drying or dropped off meaning that the plant has exited both flower phenophases. In this plant, the cluster of flowers on the right are on the edge of being spent, and the cluster of flowers on the left are clearly already spent. If the plant you are observing only has flowers that are spent, you should report no as your response to both of the flower phenophases. This may not be immediately clear to all observers, as it takes practice to tell when the flower phenophases are about to or have recently ended. Well, there we have it. You are now ready to take this information and apply it to your pesky plant tracker's observations. Thank you for taking the time to educate yourself on the flower phenophases of wild parsnip, and make sure to check out the other wild parsnip phenophase videos to provide yourself with a deeper understanding of how to observe this plant. Thank you.